Once the Ransgood has entered to our plan, this is selected to be distributed to each of the production processes according to their characteristics. Fibra Plaque, MDF. In 1997, Aglomerados Cotopaxi becomes the sole producer of MDF in the Indian region. Currently, it's the leader and sole producer in Ecuador. MDF means medium density fiberboard. Their properties make possible to use this product in many fields beyond comparing with the local alternative of the market board. The special benefit of this board is that it is possible to work with it as though they were solid wood. Our boards are designed to provide the best performance solid wood and therefore to replace furniture and home interior applications. Product made of 100% fresh wood, fresh logs. In this type of boards, the wood is not reduced into particles like in the case of chipboard or agglomerate, but the fiber is extracted and to obtain the same quality it is necessary to include uniform chips barked as free as possible. They are prepared to a softening process that breaks the chains of lining in the wood in its natural state. Then the wood is shredded. The lining is the substance that holds these chains. The product obtained by this process seems to cut on a rule. Fibers with this component are mixed with a urea formaldehyde, resin and paraffin. It is here where it is necessary to make a cushion of good fiber and resin. This cushion is spun into a pressing process that combines pressure, temperature and time, which enable the resin to produce the bonding of the fibers. A saw cut precisely the board obtained in the right piece. After that, through a sand line process we obtain a board with a smooth and uniform surface. After a calibration and final cutting process we obtain the MDF board that accomplishes the most strict international standards. MDF boards go through a quality control and by sampling are analyzed at the Aglomerados Cotopaxi laboratories. MDF boards are manufactured in different thicknesses. Aglomerados Cotopaxi can produce boards of 45 mm, being one of the few companies in the world able to do so. The row or encoded board is sold as fibra plaque row. Into the finishing processes, these boards are coated with melamin and go to the stores as fibra plaque melamin, coated with foil paper as fibra plaque foil or coated with veneers, known in the market as fibra plaque veneer. The veneers are sheets of wood that are joined to one another to create a single sheet, which will go on one or both sides of MDF board, sticked automatically and checked one by one to get a fine, high quality surface. MDF boards are manufactured in two densities, standard and lightweight. The last one, due to their lower weight, is easier to handle and transport. This product is called Fibra Plaque Light. Also, an MDF board with greater resistance to moisture is produced. An special adhesive is used to get this board known as a urea formaldehyde melamine resin, whose specifications are special to achieve high moisture resistance. The products of this line are Fibra Plaque HR, raw or coated, and Fibra Plaque HR melamine, coated with melamine paper, both of them moisture resistant. Clipboard or agglomerate, Duraplac, particles. The chipboards are composed of selected coating layer of particles or chips of wood. Each coating layer is formed by elements of similar dimension, so the production and classification of particles is by size. This is the basic step in the manufacturing process of this product. Technically, it's said that each layer has a specific granulometry. Paraffin is added to the particles to provide a good level of resistance to humidity. Those are joined using a urea formaldehyde resin. The layers are cut by saws according to the required sizes. This is a tight process which includes temperature control to obtain the perfect thickness and physical and mechanical characteristics. Then the board enters to a calibrating, sanding and finishing process where literally all the imperfections are minimized. 
the clipboard are controlled by laboratory tests of the plant, daily. Here, using a specific test, the quality and safety conditions are assured. Timber Timber products are made from Petula pine wood, which is a soft wood with an average density of 480 kg per cubic meter. Has a light color, uniform texture, a relatively striped grain and excellent properties for different industrial treatments. Our timber products are made of selected locks, which ensure the right use of the raw material during the cutting process and wood dimensional stability of the finished product. Two types of drying process are used to produce dried wood with a moisture content of 12%. The first one is a process of drying in a yard with natural air conditions, and the second is a forced drying process into cambers, operated by computer programs that control the drying process, temperature, relative humidity, hygroscopic equilibrium, drying gradient. This strict control of drying process minimizes potential effects of drying wood period. The wood, which is prepared to become in timber, enters into the sawing line, where saws machines especially arrange cut the wood in appropriate dimensions to minimize waste of raw material. The waste material is transferred to the chipper. This machine reduces the material in very small pieces that are used in the production of agglomerates or chipboards. It is important to mention that can be used to produce pallets, fences, planks, furniture and some other uses. Once the good has been sawn, according to the specifications of each product, it is placed in a prevention process that prevents damage to the wood caused by different types of ailments, especially fungus wood. Wood is susceptible to be attacked by fungus of the genus Ceratocystis, causing the so-called blue stain. To avoid this problem, the process of preservation basically involves the impregnation of wood with chemical fungicides and insecticides. After the preservation, the drying process is required in either of the two mentioned ways, drying the wood in a yard with natural air conditions or drying process into cambers. The standards are established according with the needs of the customers. For example, the required wood to banana export is put under temperature conditions reaching 56 degrees Celsius, which is necessary to avoid being infested with a type of nematode worm that particularly can damage not only the wooden pallet, but also the transported product. Finally, and also because of the customer requirements, the pieces are treated with different sub-processes of cutting and carving. Some of these possibilities are calibrated strips. The standards of the company accomplish with the American and European specifications, both factors of quality and environmental certifications because they are coming from sustainably managed plantations. The products sold by Aglomerados Cotopaxi are commercialized strategically by Edimca. This company has more than 20 stores in Ecuador, many franchises and distributors, several distribution centers, and commercial and technical service infrastructure that responds to craft markets, industrial, design and constructions, with a variety of products and high quality being the leader in marketing of these products in Ecuador. Our customers enjoy purchasing our products because they have a better quality, come from a responsible company in every way that is worried about the raw materials and welfare society. Aglomerados Cotopaxi is committed to contributing to sustainable economic development, concern about their employees, their families, the local community and society at large to improve the quality of life, with the aim of contributing to the welfare of our area of influence and being good corporate citizen, we conducted several programs in different areas such as education programs, health programs, environmental responsibility programs, economic development programs, community relations programs. For all these reasons, Aglomerados Cotopaxi is seeding the future. <laughs>